what's up guys welcome back to our channel thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video we are super excited to have you guys on our channel each and every day guys if you're not yet subscribed kindly consider subscribing do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to let me know in the comment section which gown for this video was your favorite and why do you like that gown so guys as we get to enjoy our weekly lookbook we're gonna be able to share with you guys who should you bring to your wedding dress shopping we're gonna give you tips and a few things that you should know when you're bringing people to your wedding dress shopping guys so guys as we all know trying on wedding dresses is an exciting milestone in the wedding planning process and all brides dreaming of finding the one the dress that makes their breath that takes their breath away many brides choose to share this special experience with those that they love but it can be overwhelming to determine who should be included in their wedding dress shopping so today we're gonna be giving you and we and we also here recommend that brides thoroughly consider who will be wedding dress shopping with them and here are a few people that the bride might want to invite dress shopping so the first person you can bring uh, wedding dress shopping is your mom the next is your dad the other one is your mother-in-law to be grandparents siblings aunts, cousins bridal party members and close friends so guys also while this list could bring brides to show up with a dozen people for their appointment when carried that all bride all brides bring only those that are supportive and the most important people for the big day so many brides with large shopping parties quickly realize that having so many voices can be overwhelming so that brings us to the question who should you really bring wedding dress shopping so the wedding dress shopping experience is very special and those you bring can make or break your experience so for that reason here is some information about the people you might want to bring with you so the first group of people is the supportive family and friends so think of people who are most likely to have your back and provide encouraging supportive feedback on gowns so those are the kinds of people that you should invite to your appointment generally moms are the first person that brides choose to include in their wedding dress shopping trip however sisters and grandmothers are also commonly included so more recently some brides have started including their soon-to-be mothers-in-law to join them so if your mother-in-law is already like a mother to you or will be in a, pos a positive addition to the day it is a nice gesture to include them in this special shopping trip and also if you have a family member who is paying for the dress it is also very polite to invite them uh, to the wedding dress shopping with you not only does this allow them to have the dress shopping experience with you but it, uh, it can also help prevent any monetary surprises for the person paying for the gown the second group of people you might want to consider is the bridal party members and bridal party members are often brought along in dress shopping trips since these ladies or men have a critical role in a bride's wedding day it is no surprise that they would be included in the wedding dress shopping especially if they haven't they happen to live nearby even if a bride doesn't bring the entire wedding party because let's be honest some brides uh some bride tribes are rather large uh the maid the matron of honor can come along for added support so that brings us to another question how do you determine the number of guests you want to bring uh, wedding dress shopping so as we mentioned before we strongly recommend limiting the number of people you bring to your bridal salon appointments and also you have to remember that the more people you bring the more dif different opinions you will have to receive so having a bunch of different opinions can lead to unnecessary stress for the bride so to prevent feeling overwhelmed by too much feedback try to think about the appropriate number of wedding dress shopping companions for you you are truly the one who knows how many people you should bring wedding dress shopping so the best thing you can always do is to limit your guests and just the most important people in your life if other people want to help you you could ask them to sell, uh, to like shop for accessories shoes and other wedding needs instead we also urge you to remember that uh, bridal shops have limited spacing and to ensure that your party is manageable for the salon good idea to research or call each bridal shop you plan to attend to see how many people People they will allow in your party mm -hmm. 
which brings us to another question what if you want to shop for your wedding dress alone because some brides don't want to input they don't want input from others on their wedding gowns or they don't have people to bring with them on this adventure instead of asking people to shop for a wedding dress with them these brides choose to do that alone so are you considering shopping for a wedding dress shopping by yourself so we're going to share with you a few tips that you might want to consider so the first tip is to plan ahead start at uh, start by looking at inspirations before you go shopping and then determine an appropriate budget before stepping foot into a bridal sal salon have a few different ideas for dresses that you would like to try on to give your consultant a starting point uh, for your wedding dress style so however be sure that you are willing to look at recommendations from your bridal stylist as she will know what type of dresses will look good on you based on on your body type and your skin tone so the second point if you're doing the wedding dress shopping alone is to have an open mind stay open-minded because it's going to be critical should you decide to go shopping alone since you aren't going to have sounding board as you would with a group you want to try on a few different styles of gowns before you narrow it down we recommend seeing numerous styles and fabrics before you tell your consultant that you only want to look at less ball gowns or to left fit and flare gowns the third thing you can do is to start early wedding dress shopping should never be left until the last minute at most bridal salons you will need to order a dress a month in advance the longer you wait to shop for a gown the more stress you are likely to feel as you wait for it to arrive so remember that you also need to leave enough time for alterations to be performed on the gown So guys, I just want to let you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. I'm super excited to have you on this channel each and every day. And I hope that the tips that we've given you for the wedding dress shopping, who should you allow when you're wedding dress shopping, the number of people, and who should you consider first when you're wedding dress shopping. I hope that the tips that we've shared with you guys here today are going to be helpful to you. And I want you guys to know that we love you guys so much. So kindly consider subscribing to this channel if you're not yet subscribed and we also urge you to hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time we upload a new video and guys do not forget to leave me a comment in the comment section kindly let me know which gown is your favorite for this particular video and guys do not forget to share this video with your loved ones if you know a bride who's planning to have a wedding kindly share this video with your with your uh, with the bride to be so that you know this video is gonna be helpful in one way or another so guys thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i hope that i'll be able to see you guys on the next one